Hey guys, so I just got done pushing out a video via YouTube. Uh, it's in the um, Ford Switch whiteboard session architecture design uh, playlist, but basically it's discussing how you would manage a stack of Ford Switches, which for definition purposes I would consider a stack being three or more Ford Switches with an active passive HA cluster of Ford gates. Um, the video was mostly high level drawing it out on a whiteboard, explaining how you would physically cable things up, and then I make mention of certain types of interface links that you would create. Uh, now, obviously, it's dawned on me that if you've never done or created the logical interface that's necessary for that process to take place, you um, would probably want someone to walk you through it, right? Uh, good news is, is I can give you a general overview on how to do that using my FortiGate. Bad news is the FortiGate that I have is only a 61E, so it doesn't actually have the redundant interface um, capability. But anyways, um, we can, you know, I can show you what what I can show you. So, as you can see, I've uh, spruced up my video a little bit so that you can always see my lovely face. You know, help us bond uh, as we do stuff. Anyways, this is my Ford Wi-Fi 61E. It's running 6.2.0 code. Um, not much is different as far as this whole overlay of things, so it's not going to be super important. But basically, if you're running a FortiGate 100E or a 200E and you have a big stack of Ford switches and you want to be able to manage them in a manner that doesn't make them uh, disconnect all the time, you just go to Create New under your Network Interfaces tab and select Interfaces. And for the type, usually, you know, you have your standards. You have your loopback interface, your hardware switch, software switch. Hardware switch is only visible on devices that have switch fabric. For instance, a 200E does not have switch fabric, so you cannot do a hardware switch. You can only do software switch, which you want to avoid with, like, the plague anyways. So what we do is we have these options here for the 61E on a on a higher level FortiGate you would see something called redundant or aggregate and you would just select that as the type so you would do a hardware switch and then you know you would name it like FortiLink blah 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 and you would put your interfaces in it now since I have hardware switch type set as the type on this for the video that I just did where I'm talking about managing a stack of Ford switches using an HA cluster, you would want to use uh, a redundant interface or an aggregate interface. So, um, so for your type, you would do aggregate or redundant. You would select your ports, etc. If you're running 6.0 code, you will see a little box right here that says, you know, this is dedicated to Ford switch and things like that. Uh, since this is 6.2, it doesn't give me that functionality right out the gate. You would normally define this elsewhere. But for 6.0 code, you would select the box right here that is not here right now but would be there saying dedicated the Forta switch. And then you would tell it to you know automatically authorize Forta switch. And then the next option would be a little box that shows up right underneath the automatically authorized Forta switch interface. And that would say um, enable split Forta link so that port 1 of your redundant link will be used for active standby or active for the link port 2 would be for your uh, for your standby or you know it might be completely flipped it depends on the, the logic of the FortiGate and you just go from there um, 6.2 brings on an actual for the link interface area where you would come in here and say um, like this it makes it to where you actually configure it locally. Which is the same thing. On 6.0 code, it's under network interfaces. Um, under 6.2, it's under Wi Fi and switch controller for the link interface. But basically, you know, oh, I want to automatically authorize it. And then, since if it was set to an actual aggregate or redundant link, you would have a second option here that would say enable split interface, which is what you want. Because um, then that, you know, that goes back to your. Uh, network topology stack and let's see Fortinet for the switch 
Network. Topology. Network topologies for managed for switch. I drew this out on the whiteboard session, but it might be actually easier for you to see on this diagram. Well, basically, this is what we did. This is active passive. You're using split interface. Um, and basically, much like my drawing, the two FORTA gates are in HA. Primary switch goes, or switch one goes to you know the primary port of each FORTA gate on the HA cluster to do the active FORTA link. The last switch in the stack goes to each FORTA gate for the standby link, and then all switches are connected together as is listed by this purple, uh, this purple line. So, uh, blue is the passive device connectivity, green is the active device connectivity, and then purple is inner switch link. This is how you want to do it if you have an active passive cluster. Um, so that just gives you the ability to expand on the whiteboard session a little bit more if you needed more details, right? So uh, hopefully this provides a little bit more depth. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know and we'll go from there. Uh, otherwise, thank you for checking in and hopefully these two videos will help you on your Fortiswitch management escapades. So, thanks.